Away by Adnan for the Caps. Here's Pablo Piatti. Piatti from distance! What a strike from Pablo Piatti! It's his first goal in Major League Soccer and it is absolutely spectacular from the Argentine as Toronto FC take the lead. Not a lot happening in this game in the last 10 minutes in the middle of the park. One, two, three touches and then with a fourth left foot touch he just unleashes an unstoppable strike. Hassal's nowhere near it, can't get anywhere near that quality. It's into the side net and hits it with venom and swerve. Altero. Osorio trying to get that one across towards the back post. Piatti with a shot. He's got a second. Pablo Piatti with two goals in his first appearance for Toronto FC on home soil. Control and precision to the shot. Probably Altador's last moments on the field, but great moments on that left hand side. Far too much space, too deep from the white caps. Cannot allow a player. Let's see if the ball goes out here. Oh, it looks pretty tight that one. The Rinsky's certain that the ball is out the field. Hard to tell from that angle. Look at this, it's Altador, it's Potswello again. That's criminal defending to allow a player to bring it down on the half volley. Osorio, back it comes for Nick Deleon. Pasuelo, lovely ball into the path of Nick Deleon. Really well worth goal from Toronto FC to make sure of the three points as Nick Deleon comes off the bench to score. Dominant is the word, Luke. Just brilliant play. Loses possession, then it's put swell with a little flick in behind. Nobody follows the run of De Leon, opens his body up. Terrific finish. There's where he loses possession. Theo Baird as well, but doesn't track the run. Veselinovic has no intensity and he's defending to come over and try and put his body in the line to stop the shot of the goal. Really quite passive. And Shots away from Matarita. Here's Duncan. Red Bulls looking for the breakthrough here in the second. Jason Pendon able to play this in. Wants Royer. Takes a deflection. Duncan gives it a go. Oh, Johnson initially made the stop. Didn't cross the line. What is the signal from Alan Chapman? Wow. Look at this crack. Very hard to tell. There it is. Sean Johnson. And no goal. I don't think there's any doubt for me about it. Here's Valenzuela on the other end. Cuts it back at the end. One nil to Columbus. Just like that. It was a long ball that unlocked Valenzuela. Etienne was unmarked in the penalty area. And Derek Etienne gets his first tally in Columbus crew colors. We're on top of that back four, there's the ball over the top. You see the back four over Cheat. Look at Etienne at the top of the box. Frankowski, who doesn't follow him there, nobody steps up to him. Good recognition. Valenzuela, nothing Bobby Shuttleworth can do is it's a good finish by Etienne. To put Columbus up 1 0. Artur, Boatang. Touch from Zardes. Nagby hits it up to himself, and oh, what a strike from Darlington Nagby! Oh. Out of absolutely nowhere, Nagby might have just sealed all three points for the Columbus crew. That is sensational. Gets played in. Almost looks like Zardes is playing this back to Boateng, but it ends up with Darlington Nagby, and look at this from this angle. Flick it up and hammer it. Nothing Bobby Shuttleworth can do here. And you talk about finding the center of it and hitting it clean. A little nick off the goalpost to put Columbus up 2-0.
He again slides it through. Santos back across for Zardes. Three for Columbus. They're running away with it now. It'll be three points for the crew. And the fire been undone here in the second half by Darlington Nagby and Jossie Zardes, who atones for his sins after the missed penalty at the end of the first half. It's 3 0. Darlington Nagby just running at the defense here. Madron doesn't defend him very well. Looking to get into tight space, turn the corner, draws Calvo out. Pedro Santos with a good first touch. I'm sure they'll look at it just to make sure it wasn't offside, but easy tap in here. He's got a very tired Chicago side right now. Put a lot of pressure. Probably Shuttleworth not happy. Look at Jalen Lindsay. I mean, he is really pushing high. We know the outside backs like to do that for sporting Kansas City, but I was going to be intrigued to see. Kinder's ball in Espinosa with a late run and a fabulous finish for sporting Kansas City. Not 12 minutes past here at Allianz Field. And we have the first goal at the stadium in 2020, and it comes courtesy of Roger Espinosa. Had a lot of possession in this final third of the field, and some overlapping runs, and it's Espinosa making the late run to maybe just get a toe on it. And, and Hassani Dotson is trying to track, he's trying to drop in just out of the reach. It's got something forward. Molino stretching the back line. Here's Ethan Finley across, and it's in! Took a neck on the way through, but Minnesota United won't care. Back on level terms here, just over half an hour played, and we have a game in our hands. Look at the space. You've got Jan Gregus, you've got Roman Metzner, Jalen Lindsay not getting anywhere close to the ball of the player as Melia has it, having to come off his line to try to cut off the angle. Gets the deflection and beats him. But to me, Ethan Finley continued to go at that side. Molino saw the pass but couldn't execute. This is now Kinder. In trouble for Minnesota. Johnny Russell. Still Russell. And it's an own goal. Michael Boxall, unfortunate. Kansas City, so precise in their ways moving forward. Well, and this all stems from the turnover at midfield. You're trying to switch fields there. Kevin Molino cuts inside. He's trying to be the playmaker to switch it out wide, but instead of going over the top, he tries to go through. It's cut off. Good position defensively. And Sporting Kansas City goes the other way. Now it's Auro steps past Russell Tybert. Pablo Piatti might have a go here. Tries to find some space. It'll come back towards Richie Moreno. It's 1-0 for Toronto FC as Richie Moreno Canadian scores the goal to give the home side the advantage in the 15th minute of this one and Larea gets his third goal of the season. And they're just moving the white caps around in the end it's Andy Rose who just switches off for a split second and that's the benefit of having Larea on the left hand side and come on to things like this with his stronger right foot the confidence to just strike it low and hard into the bottom corner. Asal with a wonderful save. Taking it short. Araujo will clip it. A good ball to a good area, and it's a goal! And it's Ethan Zubak, 22-year-old LA native on just his second MLS start, his first MLS goal to give the Galaxy the lead. They play it short. Look at Zubak. He just drifts off the shoulder. Nobody's picking up. Just makes a straight run right on the six-yard box and finishes it well. Good concentration here. Completely unmarked. Mark Anthony K can do nothing. There are three LA Galaxy shirts unmarked in the box. And Zubak does an excellent job just to finish that one. Owen from Zubak. Across to Araujo. And open on the far side is Legit. Here comes the cross. Legit was there. It's 2 0 for the Galaxy. Sebastian Legit whose goal started the epic comeback two years ago, has now given the Galaxy a little bit of breathing room early in the second half. Starts with Pavone, little combination play in the middle, and it's a great pick out here from Araujo. Just find Sebastian Legette, Latif Blessings caught out of position as LAFC had given away possession, and it's a great finish. Just calm because this one's tough. It takes it at awkward height. 
Takes a bounce up here. Legette just gets over the top of it, just guides it home. Vermeer's coming across his goal, goes back the way that he came from. Open net, puts it home, 2-0 Galaxy. Times it perfectly. Meza tracks that run, but keeps Johnston onside. George Bella elects to let him run. What a ball from Rometty. P.T. Martinez goes inside. P.T. Martinez! Gonzalo! P.T. Martinez! And Lance United are back. 1-0 in the 40th minute. This is just a long outlet. We talked about this matchup out on the left wing. And P.T. Martinez chops Suey. Sticks that in the back of the net. Well done, P.T. Martinez. Eric Rometty with time to pick his head up and finds a phenomenal run from Pitti. Walker Zimmerman gets caught in a bad spot, allows Pitti to cut back inside, and Pitti shows his class. Just a deft toe poke past Joe Willis. Excellent press, really good stuff, and away goes Kubo Torres. One-on-one -on -one against Romney. He's got support. Atlanta United in. Can they kill off the game late? P.T. Martinez! Oh! <laughs> a pearl from P.T. Two goal cushion and that should do it for the five strikes. Starts to play off with a great ball forward and continues to join the attack. Kubo Torres leads Mo Adams just a bit but Mo Adams finding the right path and look at that. He absolutely hammers that. Two touch, puts Torres on his way. Kubo with not the best first touch, but sets himself up. And Mo Adams, look at the tracking run. Gets every bit of that behind it. Joe Willis, no chance. Here's Nani, Rossell, Pereira. Now you see that beautiful combination by Orlando, but Mendez just over hits that for Urso. And here's Pizarro going out on the counterattack again. Rodolfo Pizarro, out wide, Carranza! And it's the youngster from Argentina with his first MLS goal, and Inter Miami off to a great start. They lead 1-0. Fortunately, it doesn't work out so well. Then you create a 2v1 versus Juan. Juan does a good job delaying the play, but the well-timed pass from Pizarro to Carranza, and then not the cleanest of strikes, but from that distance, is very, very difficult. That's all fine and dandy, as long as you can able, you're can able to then get people to take over his spot of, uh, up front. Look at DK, turn on Gonzalez Perez, a rip, it's <laughs> saved by Robles, second shot blocked, third try, bounces home! Take a bow, Daryl DK, what a goal for the rookie! The first of his professional career in Orlando City has leveled it up. Take his spot forward, and in this particular, look at that, that beautiful turn by DK and this absolutely violent strike. But the, the resilience from the rookie, he wants to contribute. He wants to make an impact, and not once, not twice, but three times he's able to get the shot, and finally it pays off to level the score in the 18th minute of the game. Well-deserved goal by the rookie. Very young team put together by Paul McDonough in Miami. Pizarro at 26 is one of the elder statesmen. Uyoa out wide for Ben Sweat. He'll try to put his foot into it. Long cross. Watch Carranza! And Julian Carranza with a brace inside the first 25 minutes. Ben Sweat put it on a plate. And that's a terrific header. Look at, look at how far he is, but he doesn't think about it twice. It's just one touch, and then he puts it into a great area. And is lofted over to the second post. And what Carranza does, he knows that Pulpo has to shift the cross. So what he does is he puts it against the momentum of the movement of... I think that's really endeared him to the fans, that confidence. He's never lacked that, even in his rookie season. Now a third-year player out of the University of Wisconsin. Here's Miami. Ball into the box. It falls for Pizarro! And the Mexican international posing with a cutout in the North Stand. 3-1 Miami, his third of the season. Their big designated player has been worth it so far. Yeah, and as Carranza drifts to the right side and a good little back heel to get a ball delivered into the box. 
Orlando City can't deal with it properly. He gets a fortuitous bounce to Pizarro, and you gotta give him credit because the composure to just place it. A wide to Juan. Ball in for DK. Again, looking to turn on LGP. Puts it back out wide for Mueller. Chris lofts it up. Back post, Nani! Game on in Fort Lauderdale. Luis Nani strikes again. Take a look at here. That's a nice threaded ball. DK does a good job of keeping the ball. He attracts five players. Leaves a ton of time for Chris Mueller to pick up his head. Deliver a wonderful ball. And Nani on the blind side of the defender just gets around him. And all he needed to do here was connect. We've got positive vibes. There will be. Given away. Natalie's getting the skewer outside him. He might go it alone. He's looking for Lewis. Rubio, though, on the angle. Left footy. Can he find some space? Have to drag it back. He takes it it's in the back of the net. He's taken a deflection. I think it may have been off Justin Glad. Diego Rubio doesn't care because we have a goal. Let's think of that. Colorado does a nice job. They come down on this counterattack. I'm not sure what Glad's doing on the floor like that. And all of a sudden it comes across. It's off Herrera. It's off Herrera's right arm, it looks like, but. I tell you, I'm, I'm not sure what Justin Glad's doing here on the defending. He's sliding, he's turning his back, he lets Rubio have the line, and then Herrera's got to come over in desperate defending to hit that ball. Absolutely fantastic ball by Nomaly. Good job by Lewis letting this go. And you know what? Diego does it. Right across, puts in the back of the net, puts Colorado up 1 0. Costa. Intercepted by Krylak, falls to Rushnak. More sense of. No Urgency from this Rail Salt Lake side. Merrim bad on the outside. Merrim turns Price, rolls it to Krylak with a drive. And it's a wonderful goal. A blistering drive. And that is the equalizer. And what an equalizer from Damaye Krylak. His third of the season. And we're all square. Uh, first of all, Merrim does a nice job. He lays this ball and that's that's an absolute bomb, absolute bomb, but Danny Wilson's got to come out quicker. He just kind of jogs and slides, doesn't really come out. For me, he's got to sprint out there, make himself wide, but I tell you what, Krylik winds up absolutely fantastical. Look at this, he waits, he hits it, times it perfectly upper 90. What a goal, what a goal from Krylik. Rosenberg looking for Rojnak, Yabra scrambling, could get the pieces, they do, they do pick up the pieces, when I spoke too soon, Michael Chen is the one that's got the goal. It was spilled by Yabra, it fell kindly for Chang, and he's opened his Major League Soccer account. Well, you can see RSL, the movement's there, watch this ball come in fear. Rizmik makes a great little run. Yabra does a great job. It comes out. He just he spills it. You can see it's in his hands. He has this ball look, and he tries to bring it into his stomach. He miscrabs it, and it's a rare mistake that we see from Yarbro, especially on this one. But look at look at the ball coming through. Ball comes in. He has it. He has. It. He's trying to tuck it into his stomach. He spills it, and Chang is right there. Chang. Finds closing down the space. This ball is on the edge of the penalty area, and one of them is bad, and one of them is bad. He buries that one, and it is 3 1, and they backed away, and they backed away, and they were punished. Corey Baird with his first of the season, and now there's some daylight for Rail Salt Lake. You can see Chang does a nice job. He's going in, he's going in. They're trying to delay. There's only one guy open. Take a look, and that's Corey Burke. There's four against three. Lalas has to come over and kind of help, but now look, he releases. Look at Corey Burke sitting there in a good position. No one marked him. And they got punished for it. And I know they're committing bodies forward, but for Baird to have that much space in the penalty, he pulled away. He did a nice job of pulling away. And straight into the midriff of Michael Chang, who I think the commentator's curse just moments after saying, Well, he's being quiet. He then scores and was very active in the third goal as well. Far post, Merrim, and it's a <laughs> side foot from Justin Merrim, and it's going from bad to worse for the Colorado Rapids. It's 4-1 to Rail Salt Lake. You can hear him yelling, somebody yelling second post. Keegan comes over, and there's not much. Playing three in the back, he doesn't have a lot of cover. They've got to keep the middle tight. 
But in this, Corey Burke makes a great run to the near post, and Miram does a nice job. Opens up his foot, tucks it in, and now they're up 4-1. to 4-1 Rail Salt Lake. And they are ruthless now. There's Jordan Jones now on the other end. Back for Ladero. Jones, the cross, Roy Diaz! Oh. And it bounces in! It's this ball. It's a great little run and a pass. But he gets across the, the front post, gets past to Iloma, and even he can't expect this. Steve Clark can't either because the amount of force that he generates off this ball from Jones. Look how far past that front post he is. He's almost at the corner of the six-yard box. I mean, what a finish. He has sure picked it up off a mistake from Mabiala. Rui Diaz has sealed the game. Mabiala miscontrolled it on a long ball over the top. Chris Duvall couldn't keep it out. Raul Rui Diaz scores his second. And Seattle looks set to take three points out of Portland. Too deep. Can't attack it. Mabial in the second one just gets completely manhandled after he tries to clear it. And then Rui Diaz just runs away. Look at that little walk-off. Just watching it float up into the net. Is Will Bruin who comes off the bench. Look at his little run here. Slip pass from Ladero. Drags to Iloma out of the middle. And then Rui Diaz, he's on a hat trick. You think he's going to go himself? No. So unselfish in this moment. Just to lay it off, finding Kelvin Leardom, who just right now has the composure. Steve Clark coming across his goal. Instead of just trying to blast it, is Will Bruin, who comes off the bench. Look at his little run here. Slip pass from Ladero. Drags to Iloma out of the middle. And then Rui Diaz, he's on a hat trick. You think he's going to go himself?